Hello, this is Trevor. Today we're working on a CSRF lab in Portswinger's Web Security Academy. It is same site, strict bypass via client side redirect. So the lab's change email function is vulnerable to CSRF. Solve the lab, perform a CSRF change of victim's email. And we have an exploit server we can use. And then we have our own credentials. Sweet. Let's check it out. Please remember to like and subscribe. Leave a comment. Let me know how I'm doing. So it's client-side redirect to change the email. So we're going to need to find some redirect. Let's check out first the uh, change email. How that works. So let's do test one at blah.com. There we have it changed and go to proxy HTTP history. Okay, so post account change email. We've got our session and that. Hmm. So it looks like we're going to need our session. Same site strict. All right. Um, and we need to find a redirect, client side redirect. We've got one on the login, one on get my account. Well, these aren't client side, these are server side redirects. Let's try to find a client side redirect. Home. View post. Just leave a comment. Blah. Blah. Blah at blah.com. You will be redirected momentarily. Let's see how that happened. Post confirmation redirect. Redirection equals blog path. Window dot location and it's catenation. URL search parameters. Dot get post ID. Interesting. So, one, we have this. And this. That when concatenated, gets uh, the window gets redirected to. Interesting. So, and this is when we get the confirmation... So let's see how it's run. Here is where it's redirect on confirmation slash post. So it's just slash post here. So, um, slash post slash four is where it gets redirected. And we want it to be redirected. Well, let's go back uh, and this. So, we need this into repeater. This change request method. We need this to be able to use a get. Send. Let's see if our thing changed. My account test two. Okay, that worked. So 
So, going back. This redirected, redirect on confirmation slash post. This is what it redirects looks like. How do we, oh, we can just do build a page. That, what if we did this? Okay. It's same sort of strict. So what if we built a page, P, Kate, that had HTML, body, script. We need client side redirect. No, so we need to go redirection on confirmation slash post. That's how do we get past this? Let's go actually go here, copy URL here, this. Okay, window. So how do we get, because it's gonna be slash post this. And what we need is Where's that get that we changed? Oh, repeater. S get slash my account change email. So what I'm saying is we have that, whoops, this code that gets it passed in slash post. And then it gets added whatever's at, concatenated with whatever's at post ID. Mm. Is this here? And slash post. Any way to override this? I don't think so. Let's send this to repeater and start playing with this a bit. Oh, uh, we're not gonna get the redirect because it's client side. There's something dumb I'm not thinking of. If we could override this then the path would be pretty straightforward. Or we just put it all in post ID. So our URL ends up being something like this. Um, Copy So all of that remains the same post ID here 
we change it to like something like at and then the path the real the path to copy to proxy uh no repeater copy url this would redirect right to slash post at and then whatever i don't think that's going to work not found oh what if we did like dot dot here dot dot my account and let's change it to three just in case it works Oh, missing parameter submit. That looks like it's going to work. Oh, no. And dang it, we do have that. What was the proxy? It didn't submit it. Oh, because we have to URL encode that ampersand, which is what? How do you URL Dang it, I don't remember. Uh, encode as URL, percent 26. Percent 26. All right, let's try this. Remember we're changing it to test three and currently it's test two. I'll refresh this, go here. Ooh, look at that. Test three. If I refresh this one, test three. Cool. So that's how we're going to do it. Um, we just added the dot dot and then URL encoded the ampersand. Now we just need to get the client to visit that. So we're going to do the <clears throat> window.location.hrs, kind of the same that we did last time to redirect the victim to that uh, URL. Pretty, 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 pretty cool. Let's go Python utils create script with that URL. And then we're going to copy this and paste it here and then over here we're gonna vim same site strict and let's look up how we did it last time copy all of this oops not there here email your pwned script blog base url and then we want all of this except for we want here email will be email. And it's long. I'm not going to correct that. Uh, so we serve that. We post that. Serve it to the 
victim, and then check if it's solved. Sweet. I think that'll work. Let's do it. Oh, no. Oh, wait. We did do it. Sweet. All right. Well, if you have any questions, let me know. Otherwise, I'll see you in the next one. Thanks so much. Goodbye.